Hi, this is Craig Winter with Oregon Junior Golf, and this is a short video to show you how to sign up for our events on our online registration system. What you'll want to do is go to OregonJuniorGolf.org. That takes you to the Junior section on the OGA website, and you'll see this post right in the top middle. Click here to register for events. So go ahead and click here, and it will take you to our user login. This page may not be front and center throughout the whole season because we'll have some other stuff we'll want to put up on the banner and you can always go to the membership section of our website and you'll also see the OGA signups are open um, on this page so this is the same post I can click here and get to that as well so once you get to this login just enter the username and login that you've set up for your son up and if you forgot it click on recover username and password if you're not yet a member, you would want to watch our membership videos on how to register for membership in the membership section of our website. So I've entered my username and password. If you're on your home computer, remember me next time is probably a good thing to leave checked and you won't need to keep logging in. If you're on a public computer, I'd recommend you uncheck that before you log in. So when we log in, we're going to see all the different events that we can sign up for. and make sure that you see your name up at the top. If you don't see that, something happened in the login section that it didn't allow you to log in. Sometimes that's a, a security setting on your computer. A lot of times folks trying to log in at work will not be able to log in, but when they get home, they'll have no problems, and that's typically due to settings on either their, their server or their individual computer. If you're still having trouble at home, give us a call and we can help you out. So here you just want to go ahead and select the different events that you'd like to register for. There's a lot of events on this list. What you can do if you'd like is select a specific season. If you'd just like to play an Erling Jacobson Tour events, it will just show you Erling Jacobson Tour events. Just want to play in the majors, it will just show you majors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on all events so we can pick a few from different, uh, different seasons. The Springfield Junior, we'll pick that one. We'll go ahead and pick the Centennial Junior. That's our first major of the year. We're going to pick the Bob Norquist, our, our big tournament. And let's go ahead and pick uh, the Spring Hill Junior. And how about an early Jacobson tour at Senior Estates? So what you'll see here for the Willamette Valley Junior, there's, there's no listing for the Pee Wee Division, no checkbox. And what that means is I'm not eligible to sign up for that event. The Willamette Valley Junior I can, but the Pee Wee Division I can't, and that's because my profile has my birth date in it and it knows I'm too old to play in the Pee Wee Division. You'd see exactly the opposite for the Pee Wees. If you're going to have a birthday that would take you from a Pee Wee Division to one of the intermediate divisions, some of the events would allow you to sign up for Pee Wees, but when your birthday happened you would no longer have access to the Pee Wees and you would just be signing up for the, the main tournament. So. I selected all the events that I'd like to play in. I'm going to go ahead and click on register for selected events. And this is where you'll want to be patient. You'll see the please wait show up at the top. Now we need to, on this next page, actually select the divisions that uh, we're eligible for. So I would go ahead and hit select for the Bob Norquist Oregon Junior. I need to wait till it's highlighted. If you click on select on another of event before it's highlighted, it's going to, um, well, the system has a hard time trying to figure out what you're trying to do. If you see here, I'm actually selecting, I'm clicking on all of those. The only one that's going to show up eventually would be the Springfield Junior. So again, this is just, uh, you need to be patient. Um, now Springfield Junior is selected, but I haven't selected any other ones I clicked because I really overrided my selection. So just wait till it highlights. You'll Again, you'll see the please wait in the top left up there. I'm selecting them and I'm waiting and as it highlights I'm good to go and then you click next. Erling Jacobson Tour don't have divisions so you won't need to select a division. And this is the disclaimer that we have, release of liability, agreed to it and I'm clicking next. Now I'm required to enter some information here. Um, you do need to enter or confirm your email address. The fields highlighted are required. And some of these events have specific questions. Um, the Bob Norquist does make a comment that you need to be available to play the whole week. It's a match play tournament. If you keep winning, 
you're going to keep playing. All players will play Monday through Wednesday. Um, if you leave that event early, that's considered a code of conduct violation, and we're asking you to check that you confirm that you understand that. Erling Jacobson Tour events, we just have some questions to ask you how long you've been playing golf, how often you play golf, and how many Erling Jacobson Tour events you've played in. And when you finish the questions, go ahead and click Next. It asks about donations. We do have a, a special helicopter golf ball drop for uh, fundraising, and one lucky ticket holder will win a $1,000 cash prize. That'll happen on July 21st. We'll be mailing out those tickets here in the next couple of weeks, and I know many of you have already submitted donations. Thank you for that. Uh, we'll get those out to you here very shortly. And now you get to the, the payment screen. It's going to show you the, the price for non-Oregon Junior Golf members, uh, if you're an Oregon Junior Golf member, you will see the uh, discounts reflected for the different series that you're signing up for. Um, this is a, a total cost of $170, and the Erling Jacobson Tour events, we will actually charge you when you sign up for them. The other events, you go into an approval queue, and you won't be charged until you're actually approved for the event after the closing deadline and just the days following. So if you don't already have a valid credit card number showing up there, um, you'll want to click either update credit card info or enter that information. Um, you will need to click the box that, that you check to save the information because, again, we're not charging your card when you sign up for, for all the majors and sanctioned tournaments. We're charging it upon approval. So that is something that you're going to need to leave checked when you go through the process. So we're going to use our existing card, and we're going to go ahead and click on finish. And we'll wait a little bit. And when it goes to the next screen, it will confirm that we have been added to the pending list of the four majors slash sanctioned tournaments, and we've been entered into the Erling Jacobson Tour event. Uh, one thing I do want to mention here is uh, don't use your back and forward arrows in this system. Um, it, it is uh, a system that does require you to use the, the screen navigation. You'll see some cancel and some previous. So please use those and not the back features. You'll have some problems uh, if you use those. Uh, if we want to look at transaction history, events registered for, you can see what you're actually registered for. Um, it shows that I'm on the wait list for uh, the four events that I've been put onto the waiting list for. I'm in the Erling Jacobson Tour event, and I have signed up for membership. If you'd like to withdraw, you can do that on the left hand or the right hand side of each event. You just click on withdraw and you just follow the prompts. So you can go in and out of events as you please. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how we sign up for membership, or actually how we sign up for tournaments with Oregon Junior Golf. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always get a hold of us at the Oregon Golf Association. Uh, you can email juniorgolf at oga.org or give us a call 503-981-4653. I'm at extension 227. Again, this is Craig Winter with Oregon Junior Golf. Thanks for your attention, and I uh, look forward to seeing you out on the course this summer.